Hi guys, my name is Ngo Wak Da and my friend is Chu Hong Ngoc Tong. We are studying Electronic Communication, Engineering Technology at Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology and Education. For this video, we are going to summarize the work we have done and so far on our project. Monitor and control system in automated agriculture by IOT. And centrally, I will share with you the research we underwent together on our project. First of all, we will show the model, which is totally covered by plastic paint to bring plastic and avoid external factor affecting the system, such as wind, dust, and rain. Now, I perform an operation in automated mode. After the system has been successfully connected to Wi-Fi, we can control it directly with the green app on the smartphone. In automatic mode, let's set the certain value for the sensor. Then, the microcontroller will collect the sensor value and compare it with the value set on the plane control bar. Here, I set the soil moisture value at 25%. And the current soil moisture is less than 25%. So the pump motor will turn on, and it will be watering on the position pre program. Here we present the shifting function in automatic mode. It can be seen that after receiving the sewing command on the app, the header starts moving out each area of the garden. Then activate the support to drop the seat to the ground. Next, the more interesting part is that user can completely take care of the garden by themselves with manual mode. For example, we can turn on and turn off the lamp and fan. Moreover, the user can select an area such as position 4 to test the system feature. In addition, we can choose another person to watering. Watering. We can see the system working according to the user wishes. Can closely monitor the situation of the garden through the video stream. It's played on the app and the user can monitor the sensor value in many time bound such as 1 hour, 6 hour, a day, a week, a month, and 3 months ago. In temperature chart, in here. At the same time, the sensor value are constantly updated on Blink app and LCD. Thanks for watching this video.